Well, welcome back to the Mediocre Huntsman. I'm so sorry we haven't posted any videos in a while, but you know, like deer season happened, work, family. Well, you guys know the, the deal. But anyway, today I have a super cool video for you. It's how to make succulent, delicious, bone-sucking venison ribs. Now, most hunters throw away their ribs because they think that the ribs are not edible. And if not cooked correctly, I would agree with that. But if cooked correctly, they're just absolutely amazing. So we're gonna do a sous vide technique, which I'll explain in a little bit more detail later. But this is the basic equipment you would need for my recipe. And on the left here, we have a sous vide bath. It's a water bath, and you'll see how we use that. This is a heating element. That's the sous vide uh, heater. And we've got our ribs from our kill this year. And we have right here uh, a, a food saver system where you can uh, put your meat in these bags and then suck out the air so that when you put it in the water bath, it all works well. So I'll go through how to use all this equipment in just a little bit, uh, but stay tuned and uh, get ready to have a, a great meal. Okay, so this is the most critical step. If you look at this meat here, uh, you can see, yeah, they're beautiful ribs and they just look like they'd be perfect, but they are not in this form. You have to get rid of all the fat in this kind of tougher tissue. It's gonna be a lot of work and I'm not gonna spend the whole video showing you um, uh, me doing that because that'd be boring, but you wanna get all the fat off. Okay, so the ribs are pretty much uh, ready here. I got almost all the fat off in that, that, uh, that silver skin. So now we're just gonna do salt and pepper, nothing fancy. I like uh, to keep it simple here. I think when you start putting all sorts of weird stuff on, it can kinda, you know, mess stuff up. But just a little a generous salt and pepper here, a little bit of pepper. So the next step is to put the meat in these uh, these these bags, and you can buy this whole like setup at uh, Kohl's. And the first thing is we have to seal the end of this. So on my device, it's pretty simple. You just stick it in there like that, kind of cover that up, lock it, and uh, go ahead and hit uh, hit seal. Now I'll just take a second, and then I'll kind of like heat that up, close that end up, and then we'll stick our ribs in this bag. Okay, doke. Okay. So that, that side is now sealed, sealed right there, and uh, we'll go get the meat. So I cut this about the size I want to have the meat fit in. So that'll go. They're already salted and peppered. So we'll put this guy in something like that. All right, and now the fun part, you stick it right in here and kind of close it up, lock it, and then hit back seal. It kind of sucks all the air out. It takes a little bit. So I sucked the air out, now it's just sealing it. Okay, so now you can see right here, we got a nice piece of rib all seasoned up in this, uh, this bag. I'm gonna do this uh, uh, for each one of the, the, the ribs we have. So let me explain how this all works. So we have a water bath, and we're gonna take the food that's in those bags that, that are sealed, and we're gonna submerge it in this water. And this is the heating element, and there's all sorts of different ones that you can buy on the, on the internet, on Amazon. I, liked, I started with the Innova, um, heating element. This is the Innova uh, water bath. I got a different one. Uh, it was a little cheaper than Innova because I wanted to upgrade a little bit. I don't even know what this thing is called. But anyway, it's pretty good. Um, and so all you do is you take your heating element and you basically screw it on to the side and you're going to uh, plug it in uh, like this. And basically, you'll just, on the settings, you'll pick the temperature that you want. And I'm gonna cook this at 165 degrees for 12 hours. Okay, so the water's heated up to 165 degrees. And I like to use these little um, metal racks here uh, just to kind of separate the meat so the water kind of circulates, circulates evenly around it. So 
So we'll put one right there and uh, another one right here, like that. And finally, I'll just kind of put this one down here, like this. And I'm just going to push this all the way in. So it's all buried, submerged. Put the cap right back on here. Like this, so the water doesn't evaporate. So we got our meat in our bag, and I'm just going to cut it open now, and I'm going to let it put it on these little wire racks on these pans. It's nice. I'm just going to kind of pat these dry now gently. Okay, so oven set at 300 degrees, and we're going to go ahead and stick in. Uh, Okay, so 10 minutes have passed at 300 degrees, and uh, we're gonna now put our first round of sauce on. And I have two different types. I have the sweet red chili, which I like. I really like sweet baby rays a lot. And I've got this honey barbecue. I wanna try both of them and see which one I like uh, better for this, for this recipe. This is more of a marinade, and this is more of a traditional barbecue sauce, but we'll just see. So I'm gonna put the sweet, uh, red chili onto the two over here. So I'm just gonna put a little of this on. I'm gonna rub it rub it around here. Just put it here. here. All right, so those cooled a little bit. I'm just gonna cut them uh, into in individual samples. You could probably just like, you know, go ahead and eat them, but let's just slice them more traditional way. Uh, all right. You know, just crispy, sticky, gooey goodness here. Look at this, this is so beautiful. All right, so this is the moment we've been waiting for, is the taste test, so here we go. This is the sweet chili. Oh man, okay. The meat is tender. It's got a sweet, tangy from the chili sauce. Uh, there's no sense of gaminess at all. Oh, this is. Oh, you guys have to try this. Do not throw away your deer ribs. Absolutely amazing. It's like eight in the morning. I'm eating deer ribs. What more could you ask for? Mm. Thank you so much for joining the mediocre husband. Wait, I gotta try the regular barbecue sauce one. Hold on. All right, here we go. Regular barbecue sauce. Mmm, big piece of meat. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I think I like them all about the same. I actually like the chili maybe a little bit better because I like that tanginess. But, oh, here it is. Deer ribs. Mediocre Huntsman style. See you soon.